Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one, the only, the as of then. We're back with part two, and I have no idea what they're doing with these dragons. What are these dragons doing here? With their children, nonetheless. Those aren't good parents. Those aren't, are those the kind of parents? Oh, and Yellow's like, ah, shh, shh, don't tell anybody. But I built a cannon. Oh, wow. Purple actually being forced to fight. Even Gray getting in on the action now that he's gone to the horde. Fighting off these Marines at 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two for Gray. And I don't know what Purple's sitting at, 2-2 two, two for him. Healing Ward's proving to be enough. He's microing back the Shadow Hunters to keep from losing them. And it's proving to be a very effective little hero squad. Move your priest, please, light blue. Yeah, man, you're in the way of our hardcore. Lumber mill strip mining. Oh, yeah, you know it's true. I would strip mine lumbers. I mean, you can you can strip what? You can strip. There's no such thing as foresting. It's called deforesting, right? And then there's like levels of how much you're deforesting the world. It's like deflowering. I I only he only deflowered her a little bit, and then immediately upon hearing that, uh, women stabbed him in the face because that's just not a smart thing to say. You'll get in trouble. We're finally loading some longbowmen. Other units. We're seeing a siege cannon maybe get mixed into the next attack. Attack a building. Take out something important. Dalen Proudmore down here. Like, yeah, what's up? I'm just, uh, I'm just chilling. My name's a Dalen Proudmore. And Green going up. He says, I've got wolf riders and I've got red dragons escort. Well, why not just take these down? And that's not a bad idea because these wolf riders are indeed doing magic damage. Medium armor. I know what you're thinking. That's crazy. And normally it would be. It's, it's a direct hardcore. It's a direct hard counter. For regular infantry it's a melee unit that is as equally bad against that unit as it is awesome against that unit so kind of got to measure it carefully but for those barricades awesome just absolutely awesome look at them they're not taking that much damage too much healing too much spirit link going on keeping any one unit from getting focused down while other things are just dying horrifically let's keep that in mind horrifically and teal comes back with an even larger force Two called three Kaltiris warships, along with a flotilla of human battleships, will be assaulting this building next. And he could even just no, nah, no reason actually to take it. You gotta think about it. You don't really need the territory. You just gotta push him out. And right now he's trying to push out purple and gray. I don't know. Gray is gonna be a hard sell. This troll tower just immediately gets target down, destroyed by teal. And Gray's a little bit worried. He's gonna move his units to the front over on the coast. And a dragon gets hot out of con out of position. Dragon hawk riders they lose one. It sounds like and perhaps an archer as well, but probably worth the dragons that they managed to capture. I'm not seeing the second one in the air, so quite possible they got two dragons in that bridge battle. And down south, Teal just continuing to have a disagreement with Gray. Gray says, "No, I want theirs, and you can't have them." What's happening here? Oh, that's right, more bridge battle. Were you expecting something else? No, you can't, because we have bridge battle. And if you were thinking you were going to get anything other than bridge battle, fool, we only do bridge battle here. All right, where's... I don't understand what Dark Green's doing. He's got 23,000. He's He must have left the game or something. Or he said he had to go AFK, right? Guys, he's got 23,000 gold. This, this is an artificial stalemate, I'm feeling. This is a bit much one way or the other. Spellbreaker's now on the front line. Ooh, always a very good unit to have with their ability to switch stuff around. What the hell? And it looks like Insurgents beginning to attack all the enemy things over here. Footman level 2 going loose up in Lordaeron. Looks like Rebellion or Revolt or something. I don't know, but it's 30 gold for each one that they kill off. Question is, will there be too many of them? No, I believe the static defenses we have here in the form of the guard tower should be enough, especially given the fact they have 1,100. And finally, Dark Green's back. I'm like, oh, thank God. Finally, because this bridge battle is still going on, bro. This is a very serious bridge battle. Teal just, just messing stuff up. Teal is a ninja, and Teal needs to get up here and assault right there and just really ruin their day. Because then, seriously, think about that. When the Alliance comes in, they can immediately, like, wreck all this, build towers, and start doing their own reverse defenses. These defenses work both ways. That is a rare thing to see, that you can take them and then have a solid position against what you're just fighting. And it's gnarly. Pushing up through this is gnarly. Pushing through this bridge, still gnarly, not as bad, though, because it's not uphill. 
be very glad. And that's so great. If they can force them to leave, these guys will be shooting uphill against all the support and new units they're building. It'll be tough to dislodge. But this stronghold with some death towers looks pretty, pretty solid. We'll see what they decide to do. And yellow still not moving out. Yellow's like, nah, nah. I got things. I got things to do, son. Son, I got things to do. Oh, they're trying to do more damage to those red dragons, but not really having a good time. An ogre dies for no reason. We're gonna speed it up then. Unless we see any big significant changes. No, just a little bit of back and forth. Here's my troll demolisher. Here's my cannon. Kind of penis waggling contest that you're used to. Yes, I know. I know it sounds exciting, but we can't show you everything, guys. This isn't this isn't HBO. I can't show you the penis waggling. Oh no! And a drag guy gets caught out of position. The dragon has to watch his second oldest son. <laughs> a little baby that'd be awesome if you had to build a whelp and then keep it alive for a minute and then it's a drake and then you keep it alive for two more minutes and it's a red drake but then like i wish there was a unit like that that's kind of late game because that would add a whole like you you're like oh my god he's got some incubating dragons that i should really attack now they'd have to be prohibitively expensive oh, okay teal saying i'm not gonna let this stand not much longer anyway why would ya? Oh god, they're just, they're just, okay. So this is the, okay, green's finally saying I go first after, and <laughs> they're laughing at him. Green just spoke completely out loud. Oh, green's probably kicking himself. Well, now they know what's happening. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here's the big assault. Red is on the front with so many Orcish champions, a brutal frontline unit, 35 to 65 melee damage normal, 8 heavy armor, 3 3 upgrades, 100 and, sorry, 1175 health, average attack speed, slow move speed. It's a thuggish unit if I've ever seen one. It's on par with these. I mean, them together with the Wolf Riders, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see Teal also drop off somewhere on a base here. And go absolutely crazy. He could just build stuff on this island, make it a place he doesn't want to leave behind him. So always what you want to do. Look at this. You can't leave this base behind now. You've got towers, you've got these, you've got siege units. Oh, finally, look at this. Teal actually building up a, an attack. He's got siege cannons going on. I'm excited. Destroying Yellow's barracks, saying it is clearly in the way, guys. Come on. And this might be it. Ogre Warrior goes in. Zula had the whacked. Gonna die? Wow, okay, I don't know what that was about. Red Dragon gets caught out and killed again by Complexity. Anything? Oh, okay, here's here's a bit of Teal. Teal still just wreaking havoc and putting more upgrades. 5-5 five, five now on his warships. And you can see the Kul'Tyrus warships capable of transport. We're just finding out. I'm just finding out. That's gnarly that they can carry units. Oh, Kul'Tyrus warships are brutal. They're so strong, they have so much attack, so much defense, and they carry units. That is just... That may, that is a navy right there! That's a scary navy. That is a navy that you think we actually have to figure out a way to deal with him because that's a serious threat that you can't always address. Right, nothing more from green. Yellow's finally moving out again. Building a workshop. Who's going to come crush him now? They must know he pushed out. They would have seen it on the minimap. Tower's taken down. Ogrim Doomhammer and his buddy in the back. They're not really doing much. Wow. Come on, drop those sweet, sweet units off. Show them who's boss. Give them Dale and Proudmore and his Marines. That's right. Attack the Demolisher. And that's why it's awesome. Because normally your ships, if they were getting attacked by Demolishers over here, you'd be like, oh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do. Oh no, Sigigiga, Dalaran just dropped. He just dropped and left the game like nothing was going on. Oh, Orange is gone. What will the Alliance ever do? I don't know, but I was going to say, normally your units are just screwed if you're being attacked from that far away by something. And this one, you just like, oh, get off the boats and smack them in the face. That's how a Marine rolls. Get off the boats and mess them up. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. All right, you're going to try to take out the catapult before it takes out anything else. Come on, Ballista. Ballista, you've got to target that. There we go. And it's down. 
Improved cannon tower still safe. Unfortunately, another catapult on the front line already. My goodness. And light blue, light blue is finally coming down here with a sizable force of units with inside elven transport ships heading down the east coast of Lordaeron. Elven battleships leading a nice little formation here, protecting ships. Ships. Do you guys like my ships? I like my ships. Ships are very good. Elven swordsmen even have. Oh my god, everyone has mana. Now they're just trying to take this out. Sparring, essentially. They know they want to grab that catapult. Come on. Come on. Get another shot. Get a shot in there. Oh. Watch out. The ballistas are being pulled forward. They have heavy armor. These oh, elder wolf riders are going to be able to do terrible damage. No, come on. It's, it's fortified. You can do it. You can do damage to these things. They're not that strong. Look at that. Bam. One goes down. Slowed. Two goes down. Three goes down. I know you're going to get him. I know you're not going to let him get away because you are the alliance and you let him get away, you little dumb. Oh, dumb dumb. Dumb dumb one. Gum gum. And Red back here not knowing what to do. Rend, Orgrim, and Mayhem just staring down the dwarves. They're like, oh, come on. The dwarves are like, oh, where'd it come, my Lottie? And they're like, come on. Oh, don't worry, Lottie. And they're like, come on. I'm not going to wait for you all day. Zug zug. Ooh, oh crap, improved hand tower taking a beating away from here by the catapult. They're going to try to rush out there and take that down before it gets so low that it can no longer be repaired. And Yellow finally picking a fight with Red, going crazy on the Orcus champions. Uh, Yellow with some decent upgrades there, 5-0 on his ranged, and I think his melee had something like 3-3. Oh, craziness there. Blade Masters do get in the background, do some damage, but it's not going to be enough to actually push Yellow out this time. I think Yellow is in a great spot and now with his siege engines rolling up that's too much he's got to back up siege engines are a gnarly gnarly screen for riflemen if you do it correctly gnarly screen guys gnarly gnarly screen screen i'm telling you it's a screeny and gnarly all right light blue remember remember that sh that that ships we saw remember the ships we saw Not the ships are down here now and uh, there are hard warships being made by the people, and blue has to leave the front line, meaning that this front is even more exposed now. Look at this, this is a shadow crew from before. You got red down here dealing with yellow, yellow clean it up. Over here you've got craziness about to land on the shores, there it is. Elves going nuts right in the face of the human battleships, the humans control the sea. What are you going to do, son? You're going to get bombed from the ocean. Oh, and you're going to be very sad. Admittedly, we do see a lot of skeleton warriors coming up. Big, angry skeleton mobs, I know. Oh, very scary. But yellow, guys, yellow murdered red. Finally getting back at the door orcs for what they did. And he's trying to focus down the Bleeding Hollow Fortress with his crazy set of tanks. And he might be able to do it. I don't know. Oh, it is going down fast, but I think he's got enough to take it down. We do see this advanced boulder tower here really uh, chewing up the dwarven units. And yeah, it did a lot of damage, though. Whew, 6,360 damage. He's, yeah, Yellow's like, you really should, because we've got him distracted all over the place. Light blue's there. Push Zula had the whacked about to die. Yeah! It's very stressful. It's very stressful now. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the humans pushing. Oh, it's a human push time, guys. Human push time. Human push time. Human, 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 human push time. Okay, and what's the highest? Is it like, does it just depend? I mean, Blaze Runner, what are you doing over here, bro? You're way in the back. You have so many forces. The Horde is actually looking like they're the ones out on the ropes now. With Blue's force having been crushed, they're losing their grip on Yellow's land shockingly quickly. And what's Teal up to? Oh, that's right. Teal's just down here with a force of crazy-ass Marines murdering people and taking over the shores of their enemies. Ah! And Gray valiantly holding Look at these Ogre Warlords. So many war mills. This is the production center of purple. If this goes down, he loses so much income that it's silly and uh, pretty much impossible to come back from, I would think. Antonidas just died. Orange, where are you? Oh, that's right. He left. Anastarian, though, did die. Complexity. How you looking there, bro? All right. Alaria is there. Markov left the game involuntarily. That was Brown, right? So Brown said, I quit. Brown had his base pillaged. His village dillaged. And all of his gorillage hillaged. I know. It's rough. But here we see Blue actually getting back at Cult Tiris. An amazing feat. The Death Knight Masters pressed slaves into service to creating juggernauts. 
that were just too big and goddamn scary for Kalteris' Kul sad little human defenders to deal with, and then those Death Knights boarded the ships themselves, went all the way across the ocean, landed, and started erecting big watchtowers to their dark gods. That's right, how do you spell Chaos Badass? You spell it Death Knight. You spell it Koganasaga. <laughs> Koganasaga. Oh, but Teal has noticed this transgression. He cannot let his ancestors be dishonored, so he builds the Marines, and they will defend the world. The problem is, every one of these marines that goes down, yes, they're going to turn into, oh, a skeleton, a lesser, darker minion, completely capable of staying alive and being a general badass. Alright, here, and finally, Kul Tiris shoves their units, oh my god, and the Kul Tiris warships have come back to one, two, three shot these big juggernauts. Ooh, that's gnarly! Alright, oh, purple's holding. This Guys, this is a choke point. If you ever seen one, this is when, one of those times when you have to force past the line, run deep into the enemy territory, and start pushing more units in behind you. Because right now, only about 25% of your force is attacking, and uh, that's being attacked. You need to get all your force in there and attacking. Okay, if 20% is attacking and 20% is being attacked, much better to have 100% attacking and 40% being attacked. Right? Think it through. Take your time. I'll wait. You got there yet? Good. Good job. Good job. I knew you'd get there. I'm very proud of you. Is Blue going to be dislodged? I don't know. It's kind of rough now because he doesn't have the advantage on the island. All of his units have been destroyed and now Teal has this terrifying human... Ba oh, we're getting a little crystal whacking. I don't know. Uh, Teal's battleships are going to do terrible things to the Death Knight's battles. And... They're never going to remember it. It will be called the Time of Suffering. And they've already been killed and resurrected as shadows of their former selves. Imagine the pain they've been through. And a cannonball to the ass is still worse. <laughs> it really is, I promise. Finally, they broke through. The defense is nothing compared to their combined might. Their own fury. Insane to see. Alright. Storm Reavers. <laughs> Outlander. We have your woman outlander! Poor guard towers. 3,500 health on that guard tower! Whoa! Those are permanent fixtures. 2,700 on these uh, chaos death towers, which are beating the dookie out of Uther. They're gonna force him to run here if he's not careful. He does have a blessing of protection. His armor and life regeneration increased. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. 24 extra armor? That's 65% damage reduction! Oh, okay, that's from the buff. Woo! That is a gnarly buff. Alright, Uther runs away, filled with chaos, death, goo, all up in his insides. Yeah, don't, don't overthink it, I promise, it's awful. Fortresses being built down here by green, lots of stuff. Maybe this is going to be the next big choke point they try to hold. I would imagine, if I were them, that I would say, this is probably lost right now. Uh, the only other thing we really have is nothing at all. I guess there's Grim Batol. I guess you could say there's Grim Batol. But I don't know what good it would do. Is it in Grim Batol? Is, is this Brown's Grim Batol Fortress? Oh, it is Brown. Ooh, Brown, what do you think? Did Brown leave? Brown must have left. Because if I'm on light blue and I click on Brown, that's Markov. Markov was Brown. Okay. Oh, that's right. We already knew that. Silly me. There we go. I just need some more water. Mmm, good, good water. Packed trebuchet, that's not a packed... Oh, it's because it's packed up. I'm supposed to be like... That trebuchet is not loaded. Wow, Quilby is being thrown on the line, and not a horrible unit when bloodlusted like that. Ooh, plus 10 range damage. Gnarly. But still not gnarly enough to uh, stop this charge, because this is a mean group of humans. And even Gilrock, Deadeye, Dark Eye, just shaking in his little panties. Because why? Because the Marines are still here to play, guys. El Jacko has been nonstop ruining these guys' day. With an entire fleet parked off the edge. And when they finally do manage to push him back and they're like, Oh, yay! We can finally... Rec oh, God, we can't get anywhere near the... the. You can't get anywhere near the shore. It's terrifying. It's dangerous. Terrelion? Terrelion, did you just die like a punk? I guess he did. They're up here trying to hero snipe, but main black hand getting targeted. Orgrim, Rend, gotta get out of there. Any of those units, gotta be careful. You took one of pinks, let it go at that. If it's clear you're not gonna make another, let it go at that. 
I swear to swear to let it go with that. Let it go with that. Uh, uh, let it go with that. Yellow really should have swung that. The minute he saw that those units were up there fighting, he should have swung the, all of his entire army right here down into this choke point. It would have been the best idea ever. Ever, do you hear me? Teal, just inviting people to come. Look, he's just lining them up on the shore. Just, yeah, come on. Come on, we want to have fun. Isn't it the best? It's This is the best fun ever. Longbowman, animate dead. Kind of doing some damage, but look at this. Just He's got things repairing them. He's got them being repaired. Isn't that gnarly? The are under nope. And Blue now forced to hold this line while he's being bombarded constantly. Teal's got a mean little strategy going on here of harassment that just can't be ignored. Meaning that Blue has to constantly be back here dealing with it. So does Purple sometimes, and even Gray. Three players that should be up north completely focused are now half their attention down here against a genuine threat. That's just awesome. You've lowered their effectiveness in two places so completely, it's just so worthwhile. Alright, how are the uh, Twilight's Hammer and everyone doing? 3,000. Alright, Mog, how you doing? 10,000, that's what I want to see. 3,000 for blue, red's got 850. Uh, I think red might be a little... I'm just saying, he might be dead. Yeah. But Teal's still setting up stuff. So are all the towers in this game pre predetermined? Is that what I'm supposed to understand? Like if this gets broken, it's, it becomes a ruined tower, and then if you want to rebuild it, you just build from that plot. So that way you like the choke points stay the same, but you decide whether where you want to fight. Okay, I like that. Wow, they want to go straight for Stormwind. That's a ballsy move. They got to get through Red, who admittedly has almost no gold or anything. I don't know how he's gonna live. But we're going to find out how he lives in the next episode, guys. I will see you for part three. This has been the one and only the Azathin, and I will see you guys for part three next time. Bye, guys. Hello, and welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one and the only the Azathin, and I am back with more of this stuff. This stuff. Ugh, right? Ugh. It's awful. I'm just kidding. It's awesome, isn't it? Legends of the Second War great map updated by eagle man recently go check out diplomunion.com if you want to know about more about eagle man he is one of the minds that was behind an iteration of azeroth wars just an old just a just a good player i like him a lot by the way feel free to send in any replays you have of any map that you think would fit for the channel just send them in send them into netheron21 at hotmail.com make sure you include the map file as well as the replay itself and when i say the map file i mean the map file i mean the file that designates the map. I mean, whatever this is called. This is Legends of the Second War 1.74. need to go into your Warcraft folder, go to your maps, go to downloads, okay, and then you'll find it. If you've played it, you'll have the map file. You copy that, you uh, or you attach it to an email, to netheron21 at hotmail.com. You attach that file, and then you also, then you go back, and you go to your replay folder, and you find the replay that you wanted to send me, and then you add that to the, the email, and bam! Just give me a little synopsis, tell me what's going on, that way I can just I can read it, I can hop into the game, and I can start casting. And now they're just kind of destroying everything on their way down. This is, this is, this is brutal. This is very brutal. Teal just don't give no dams. Teal, what are you up to, El Jacko? Okay, he's got... Gen Greymane. Way up here. But Dalen Proudmore, total badass. All the way down here, leading this harass... Oh, damn. Um, why is that not damaging it? What the hell? Yeah, I think Gray spotted a little something here. Why can't they damage that? I would love to know what just caused that. That doesn't look like we'll get to know. Push down here, kind of destroying the horde. No kind of response to anything there. Ugh. Man! No joke! Look at that siege cannon auto healing itself and going invulnerable. That was insane. I can't blame Blue for getting a little mad about that. 
that that's weird all right light blue seems to have fallen lost a hero they're fighting their way through enemy territory so it was doomed to happen at one point or another Killrog Deadeye, awesome. Killrog Deadeye and his son, oh no, his buddy, Necros Skullcrusher. Kicking so much orange butt as they try to defend their way back down this hill. Guess whose siege engines are back, Red? I, I don't know. Uh, my guess is Yellow's siege engines are back. Oh yeah, look at that, nice. Ooh, man, Red's gonna have a kind of a hard time killing this now. Orc Guard Tower, ooh, Cauldron... Wild Hammer. Not a hero. Well, he is, but I thought it was a different flying guy that I was looking at before. Or am I insane? Oh, God. Kill Dog Deadeye dies. This is looking more and more like a guaranteed... I don't know. What do you guys think of this map? It looks like it has a lot of potential for fun with no leaves and a little bit kind of a different outcome. What? Brown couldn't handle more than... Yeah, Brown was a little bit interesting in that fight. And blue leaving. I don't know what Teal was doing. Why were these invulnerable and just not taking damage from those siege units? So, I mean, wow. Look at purple. Look at purple and gray. They're holding pretty well. Wait, where'd gray get off to? Oh, he's still here. He's just mixed in so much that I can't see. And now, unfortunately, they're going to run away. Straight into the force of human battleships and angry siege engines. Right to the fortress of Blackrock itself. Gnarly. Red actually does have some raiders. Oh, he's got raiders and he's trying to make sure that these units don't focus down his buildings too quickly. That's rough. Uh, yellow seeming. Oh, Moggy leaves the game. Green saying, I'm done. He's just done, son. Wanghammer leaves the game. Shocking. I think red's the only person left and purple. Look at that. Purple doesn't even have any heroes. Red, what's up with your heroes, bro? He's got a defense to mount. And he's trying to do his best to slow down as many dwarves as he can. Lightning shocks, but he gets stunned. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Get your red black hand out of there, boy. What are you doing leaving red black hand to die? You crazy, boy. That's not how you treat yourself, boy. Uh, seems like he's doing okay. Red had some units here that are going to give these units no real trouble at all. Uh, let's, we gotta be honest about it, right? Meanwhile, Teal just luring people into dying again and again. I'll, uh, yep, Vile Priestess dies. Teal, El Jacko, what's, what are you looking like over here? You gonna make a liar out of me? Is this gonna be a two-parter? I can't imagine. I mean, Red's the only one left, so, well, purple, but where the fuck is purple? Purple doesn't have any units anywhere. I did. Where, where are purples? Okay, purple's got a thing. Purple's got a friend in me. You've got a friend in auto camera. Look at these things. There's lots of reinforcements. And now there's guys standing on a bridge. I've got great big amounts in the place where it counts. And it's feeling like a sunshiny day. Hey. Oh, good. Why, why is it making me... I don't want to see anything that's going on with purple. It's terrible. Oh, look at that. Teal left the game. Oh, good. Another person left the game. Why? Why is... <laughs> it's going to be a two-parter, guys. I was so wrong. I'm sorry. I had no idea. This is clearly done. Like Red, Red's trying to live, but it's not going great for him. He does have a defiled fountain of life, so... He's fighting with almost complete impunity. Actually, oh, yeah, nearly, quite nearly complete impunity. He doesn't have to worry at all. Well, neither does anything else, unfortunately. You don't want to fight on this thing because, well, it's impossible to kill anything on it. Jeez. But Red's thinking he has enough damage, and he does. He has enough damage to take out Uther. And meanwhile, Dark Green doesn't have enough damage to take him out, but perhaps with the uh, added bonus of yellow and orange, we'll see something. No, instead, it looks like these units will get left behind. Kirin Tormage is slaughtered by Red, continuing to whoop the booty. Whoop, whoop, whoop the booty. Guys, are, are you looking at this booty whooping that's happening? Red is giving Dark Green a solid gold ass whooping. 
Alright, he's getting tired of yellow though, he's deciding yellow. Oh, but yellow siege engines are just sliding straight to the base. Oh no. Going right for Blackrock Fortress. They're not going to stop until it's rubble, guys. Parking right up on it. Bam, bam, bam. Ren, Ren Blackhand got pulled too far out of the way. He's determined to take out Magni Bronzebeard. Pissing off Yellow. Yellow's been doing so much damage to him all game, and now he does get the hit off. But he's left his base woefully undefended, and it shatters under the onslaught. Half speed is still so fast to watch this thing go down. Blackrock Fortress destroyed. Another Fortress sitting here. Not much Red can do at this point. He's got some heroes. What? They're not going to be any good against this. This is craziness. Purple. Purple not even here. It's literally just red. Red's going to be like, hey, I'm a badass. Alright, we're going to watch the last adventures of the Burning Blade Masters. Do, do, do. They're going to murder so many sea tanks because no one cares that they're in the game and they're kind of useless right now. Does Feral Spirit make them do chaos damage? And otherwise they do... Oh, what? Oh, they're summons. Okay. They're summons. That's awesome. Oh, but light blue suddenly entering from a new direction. That's not good. And it turns out all the interesting stuff stop happened about halfway through. So we're going to go ahead and call this part two. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll just end that there after everyone leaves and nothing else happens for the rest of the game. Sorry, guys. Go ahead and, <laughs> and blame the person who sent in this game. You know who it was. You know it was Blaze Runner. Go ahead and yell at him next time you see him. But send me in more of these maps. I'd love to see how this game turns out, you know, with varying end uh, results. And uh, go play this game. Go play Legends of the Second War. Bye, guys.